Okay, it's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. We're back to 2064. Read-only memories. The game where I get to drink and yell at robots, so I'd call it a pretty darsh, gosh darn a good game at this point. I admit, I'm getting into this quite a bit. Like, super good. Like, so into it that I'm actually feeling kind of sad that Turing... That, uh, Hayden is dead. That didn't make me feel great last time. I was like, oh shit. Of course there's bad news coming, but I didn't expect it to be that bad. All right, so what are we doing here? What did we just do? We just got the poster from Ramona, I think, right? Let's take a look at this. Magical Commander Yukino, Yukino at the Gates to the Deep, signed by Takeko, all right. All right, that's right. Okay, so we need this to give to somebody to make us a fake passport, I think. And then we need 100,000 credits and an untraceable car. That's gonna be a little rough. That's gonna be a little tough to do. Let's let's talk to Ramona. What you got, girl? The Hassy Ram will help you get your Hassy fix. Uh, thanks. I, I don't want my Hassy fix. I wanted to talk to you, but all right, that's fine. I guess that's fine. All right, so what are we gonna do? I Holy like the way shit! She was flirting with you, Ollie. Hey, star fucker, chill out. <laughs> I forgot his. <laughs> I forgot his alias of star fucker. Holy shit! That's really good. It's really good. What are you talking about? Starfucker, they were just uh, nerding out a bit. Just kind of chill, chill for a bit. I know flirting when I see it, and I'm saying I don't like it. Not one bit. <laughs> You're just jealous because she wasn't flirting with you, Starfucker. We just talk about old anime sometimes, Chad. Yeah, he uses his normal name. <laughs> sure. Hey, man, Starfucker, you got to listen to your homie here. Well... We have the poster now. Yeah, What's Turing, that? let's get back on track. <laughs> Good Go ahead job. And call this number, Turing. Blip, blip, He'll blip. want to set up the drop with you now that I've introduced you to him. Five 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 six four zero five. Right? Some sure. five 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 number. Change the subject. Hey, Starfucker, we're trying to get some business done, okay? Just we'll uh, leave that I'll for later. Call him right now, then. Good. Good. Let's get something going. It's ringing. Is it? I don't hear it ringing. Once looking for some papers. Maybe. Maybe. We are, and we have the requested payment with us. Good. We're gonna do this real professional like. <laughs> you know Stardust? Yeah, I can hear the Stardust music in the background, so yes, we know Stardust. I do. Head there. Leave the poster behind the Megaphobator arcade cabinet and get out. Hey, come on. No, if we're gonna do this exchange, I wanna see some face, alright? Come back ten minutes later, and your stuff will be behind the machine. Ugh. That's never, it's never that simple. It's never that fucking simple. Good. I'll be waiting. Hmm. I don't know. Well, that was very mysterious. That does give us an excuse to go back to Stardust. Hang with our bros, Majid and Gus, get a drink, you know? So I'm okay yeah, with that. That's how this guy is. <laughs> Can you at least tell us his name, Oliver? I mean, that I would be real nice. His name. Damn it! <laughs> I've been getting things from him for a few years now. Dang it! Well, that's not Who mysterious cares? at all. Let him play spy master if he wants. Yeah, and you'll 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 play at being a crazy punk with pyramid hair, there, Starfucker. I guess. Huh? Let's hurry up to Stardust and get this over with. Hey, can you chill? We we're gonna go there and get a drink, okay? I've wasted enough of my day with this crap. Whatever, Starfucker. All right, let's see what we got. What is this thing still freaking out? Snow mode activated. Wah, wah. Let's touch it. Don't bug it. It already seems to be in a stormy mood. Ah, dang it, Turing. That's a good pun. It's a real nice pun. Take a look around. Actually, let's go talk to Brian now that we got his son with us, I think, right? Let's, let's go talk to him. Oh, he seems to be in a very sour mood. That's unfortunate for him. Can we use an item on him? Let's give him the milk. Um, your contribution to the cause is greatly appreciated. But... No, that's ours. You can't take it. <laughs> Jesus, during Getting a little attached to that spoiled milk, are we? Oh, thank heavens. <laughs> Brilliant. All right, let's use the milk on the car. Oh, that's right. That's right, okay. 
Never mind. I guess we already tried that once before, didn't we? Let's use the milk on the billboard. Oh, we can't. Oh, I don't want to use the brick on the billboard. That seems like a, a bad choice. Okay, I suppose we should go to Stardust, huh? We could still go to some other places, though. Uh... Well, I guess technically we do need to go ask for some money. But... One thing at a time. Let's go to Stardust. Let's go get a drink. Let's see how go Majid's doing. The drop. We'll wait out here. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, come on, Oliver Starfucker, you're not coming in with me? Yeah. Don't want to get her IDs taken. Yeah, I guess that's true. You guys are underage, so you can't enjoy I suppose the fruits I of adulthood. Pain surprise. <laughs> pain surprise at what, Turing, exactly? Hey, it's a pretty cool set. Even if it is like a million years old. Yeah, whatever. You're just jelly that you can't go into Stardust there, Starfucker. Even if you share they a first don't really name. care about the IDs unless you try to hit the bar. Hey, Omega Weapon, how you doing? <laughs> no ban for spoilers. Ah, I see what you did there. Spoiled milk, spoilers, ha 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 ha. That's pretty good. Found that one out the hard way. Well, why did you try to go to the bar, you idiot? Jeez. We would have been fine if you hadn't taken a swing at the bouncer. Well, dumbass, why would you take a swing at the bouncer? Fucking idiot. So I like the hard way. But yeah, oh my god. What god, we'll be idiot. right back, gentlemen. Yeah. Try yeah. not to set the building on fire while we're gone. Uh don't give him ideas, Turing. Don't do that. That's a bad idea. Can we talk to this guy? I don't really do idle chatter. Yeah, you know that, that's fair. All business. How about some milk? That's disgusting. Yeah, it is kinda of disgusting. Sorry. <laughs> Welcome to Stardust. Didn't sour his mood any though. Ha 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 ha. Hey, Majid, Gus, how you guys doing? Hey, friends, what can we get for you? All right, what do we want this time? I'd like a drink. What are you having? What do you know how to make? <laughs> uh, what's in a Cure Royale? Coming right up. Whoa. I'll ask Gus if I don't know what it is. Yeah, okay, all right. I was about to say you fucking learned something, Majid. All right. He's better with the weird kind of stuff people ask for these days. Weird? Some of these cocktails make me need a spa day. <laughs> I didn't think that one sounded too weird, but okay. We'll go with it. Oh, Turing, relax. You can look up Drinkshipedia, Drinkshenaria. There we go. Drinkshenaria later on. That's probably a real thing, right? <laughs> Sorry about stealing your thunder. Wah, wah, Gus gets it. This one is... What the hell is that? Champagne with a splash of ra black raspberry liqueur. Oh no, that's way too sweet, man. No. Does that sound good? No, not really. I want something a little bit stronger, please. Like what? Yeah. Yeah, what you got? Ugh, has a spike. Isn't that like the energy drink plus booze or something? That's a bad idea. Don't do that. Personal experience. Do not have energy drink and booze together. It's not a good idea. PSA. Uh, sugar rush. Ingredients and ratios? What? Come on. Coming right up. I'll ask Gus if I don't. Yeah, okay. We got He's that. He's better with the weird kind of stuff. Weird kind of stuff? Well, that previous one was weird <laughs> during. <laughs> I actually just like seeing that <laughs> Sorry expression. About stealing your thunder. This one is. Yeah, what the fuck's in that? Two parts white rum, okay. Ginseng tea, awesome. One part lime juice, wow, that actually sounds pretty good. I could actually do two thirds of this. I don't have ginseng tea though. Kind of smooth but super spicy aftertaste. I guess the ginseng will do that, huh? Does that sound good? Yeah, that actually sounds really nice. Yeah, let's grab that. Here you go. Thank you. I'm gonna make sure to drink it before we leave the bar this time, I guess. So we'll go, we'll go deposit our shit. Jess, how you doing? It's been a long time. What do you want? Just I'm want... pretty busy right now. <laughs> Did you do that on purpose, Jess? Come on. Why you gotta invoke super troopers like that? Oh, oh, we don't even get to talk to her. She just drops that badass pun and then we walk away. Nice, all right. We gotta use, drop the poster here. Okay, so we put the poster behind there. We have to leave well, and come back 10 minutes. Was an awful lot of fuss over a poster. Yeah, people get attached to some weird shit sometimes, Turing. Don't don't question it, none. People got I their different tastes. I just don't taste. understand the appeal of merchandise like this. I keep my important possessions on my data drive. 
We all would if we could, I think. <clears throat> oh! Uh-oh. Do, do I go the tease route here? This is actually really funny. Let's do it. <laughs> you did? <laughs> oh, now I feel bad about getting his hopes up. Oh, no. Wait. No. You're being facetious. Ah, oh, sorry, Turing. That one was too good. I haven't even told you when my birthday is, and it isn't for months. So? It doesn't mean I couldn't have already gotten it. Still, your point is made. I should not be snobbish <laughs> about other people's interests. Yeah, all right. So we did it good. We taught we taught the robot something. Maybe That's a good I'll thing. I'll give Magical Commander Yukino a try when we get some downtime. Uh, it's okay. Well, I didn't mean to go that far, but all right. That's fine. That's fine, I guess. But that's enough navel-gazing. <laughs> Oh, let's none. head back outside so our benefactor can make the trade. No, let's not go outside yet. I have to drink my drink. Good. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go grab a table. Oh, I can't use the item on the table. Let's use the milk on the table. What? What'll happen? I'll leave it there. Someone might think it's safe to drink. Oh, I guess that's true. Let's give the milk to the VIP bouncer. Here. Tour bouncer must be slacking to let you come in carrying that. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, let's drink. Let's drink our drink. Refreshing and spicy. Oh, I drank my drink. I drank my drink. All right, very good. Let's go outside. Y'all do the deal? Maybe, and we might have had a drink too. How did it go? We we put a poster behind an arcade machine. How the fuck do you think it went, Oliver? Not we really that difficult. We left poster behind the cabinet. <clears throat> now we just need to wait for the switch. Ten minutes. I'm, I'm pretty sure we could see him coming and going here. I've never had to wait more than five minutes or so before. It shouldn't take long. Dude's a frequenter of Stardust, apparently. I wonder how he knows the drop happened and gets to it so fast. Watch, it's probably Majid or Gus or Jess or somebody like that. Don't matter. This guy's a solid feed, even if he likes to mess around. That was actually pretty straightforward. For anyway. Hey, Oliver, don't ask questions you probably don't want to know the answers to, all right? You said to trade for information, but yes. what's the full story? Hey. Don't be giving me that lip and that creased brow. I don't like it. Without going into too much detail, okay, fair. our informant needs to get out of Neo SF unnoticed. The passports are oh. one part of that. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, one part. Two other parts to go here. We also need to obtain an untraceable car. Turing, I thought we agreed not to go into too much detail. And here you are just fucking spewing those details out. I thought we had to talk about this. I don't suppose the two of you could help with that? No, don't. Don't ask teenage miscreants to get us an untraceable car. That's, oh, that's such a bad idea. No way, dude. Ha, <laughs> wow, even Starfucker's down on that idea. Grand Theft Auto is a felony with a capital F. <laughs> okay, you pussy. Besides, getting an untraceable car ain't in the same league as a piece of plastic that'll fool a hand scanner. Jesus, do you have to yell all this information while we're standing outside a pretty hopping busy place here? Starfucker, please. Chad's right. Yeah, well, I guess he doesn't have much sense if he's going by Starfucker, so I guess I should Of course do I'm that. right. Yeah, you're you're hundred percent right. The city's traffic management system keeps track of all vehicles passively. Even if you manage to circumvent their firmware and keep them from actively reporting to the network. Well, we know somebody who's good with uh, backdoors into traffic systems, so we might just hit them up. You have to spoof the car as something permitted to be invisible for the CTOS to ignore it. I don't want to mess with boosting cars anyway. Yeah, is that too hardcore for you, Starfucker? Is that just one core too hard for your name? The junks run that racket in Neo SF. And they don't play nice. The junks, huh? All right, cool. Drop an info for me. Especially with the HR. Yeah, I guess that's true. Well, luckily we don't have any ties to the HR, right, Starfucker? Well, thank you. Either way. It'd be real embarrassing if you were like the son of the favor. main How organizer in Neo SF, the huh? Bow, 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 bow. <clears throat> All right, sounds good, game over. Thanks for stopping in, anyways. Good luck with your homework. Yeah, Blue. No hard feelings. Yes, no hard feelings. You were the dudes that trashed the apartment. How is there any hard feelings on your side? Stupid fucks. 
You give us a call if you need anything else. Long as it'll help you find your pops. Oh, Terry, I'm sorry. <laughs> we should get going, though. We were supposed to be home hours ago. Yeah, well. My dad won't notice, but Ollie's will flip. Yeah, that's true. Your dad's probably still standing outside that genus clinic or whatever the fuck, right? You take care. Don't get derezzed. Wow, Starfucker, that sounds like a little bit of empathy coming from you. I'm a little surprised. See ya. Ah, and Ollie's all happy. Nice. Goodbye. And Turing's happy now, too. Everybody's happy. Everybody's super happy. Let's finish the trade inside. <clears throat> has it been 10 minutes? It's been pretty close to 10 minutes, hasn't it? All right, let's go in. Welcome. To this Stars. dude must think we're like fucking nuts or something. We've been here like three times a day. Hey, guys, sorry. No time to chat. We got to go check the thing. kind of freaky all the lips and eyes blah 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 blah. i guess we use it yeah there we go we got some passports <laughs> that went smoother Here than expected the passports are just as advertised yeah that's a little weird a deal that shady doesn't go that smooth what's the fucking now catch we here need to find a car well we've got Jess some info right over there perhaps she may know someone who can lend a hand well we just got the name of a a chop shop called the junks or whatever uh, you can do the talking. She doesn't cotton to me very well, does she? Good thinking. Yeah, thanks, Turing. Way to fucking support me there. Ass. <laughs> All right, Jess, we're gonna bother you again. Sorry. Did you find your guy? Or wait, let me guess. There's something else you need from me. Hey, come on now. Don't be, don't be a sourpuss. <laughs> well, you haven't been terrible to deal with so far, so... I'm willing to hear you out. Gee. Barely. How fucking generous. We need access to an untraceable car. Yeah, all right. Turing, cutting right to the heart of the matter. An Very good. An informant of ours needs to get out of the city without attracting the attention of Parallax and is offering valuable information to us in exchange. Seriously? Is that Jesus, all? Jesus, <laughs> what kind of shit is in your life anyway? <laughs> Just trust me, you don't want to ask that. Actually, don't answer that. Yeah, exactly. See? See? Smart girl. I'm not sure why you think just because I defend a few folks in the rougher parts of the city that I would have that kind of connection. Hey, you you had connections with that parallax security guard dude in the shady part of town. Don't try to fucking play hardball on us now. And even if one of my clients did run a carjacking business, it's not like society is clamoring to give hybrids legal jobs. Yeah, that's a whole lot of speculation that we didn't ask about. Very suspicious, Jess. Regardless, I'm not going to be an accessory to a felony or let one of my clients be either. Okay, I guess that's fair. I won't go down that path. Okay. I not know where to start anyway. Yeah? And you certainly know that such and such a name wouldn't know where to start, right? <laughs> oh, that's cruel. That is cruel. Is there any possible way you can give us any kind of lead? I know we're reaching, but this is important. No shit. A dude died. Wait, does she know that? I don't know. Turing and I know that. A dude died. Come on. You just don't quit, do you? No, we don't. Okay, let me think. This might be a long shot, but you could try asking Majid. There are rumors he may have been involved with some shady stuff way back in the day. Shady stuff? Well, he was a bodyguard probably for some pretty shady people, so who knows? They'll probably be reluctant to talk about it. Well, but there's a free lead for you. Thanks. Thank you, Jess. You've been very helpful. Give me another drink in exchange, will you? Okay. Okay. What would you like? It looks like huh. a beer. That went better than expected. <laughs> because you did the talking turn. If I had tried to talk to her, shit would have gone real downhill real fast. I wonder if my charm is starting to pay off for us. Yeah, your charm. We'll go with that. Okay. Oh, you performed admirably as well. Onward we go. Wow. Afterthought. Thanks. You're getting back to Shade Master Turing here. All right. Let's. She, it looks like she's got a beer. Let's just look at the table. All right. She wants a beer, probably. We'll get her a beer. All right. Let's uh, talk to Majid. Hey, friends. What can we get for you? Uh, how about we get just her beer we first? No, Turing, please. Information. 
Sure, but first, let's get you a drink. Yeah, <laughs> hey, okay. <laughs> All right. All right, okay. All right. I'm, uh... I'm in the mood for something pretty standard. Um... I don't know what a power play is. Let's see what Coming that is. Coming right up. I'll ask Gus if I don't know what it is. He's better with the weird kind of stuff people ask for. Go. <laughs> I want a looping gif of that expression. That would be fucking fantastic. This one is. What do we got? Mild, long-lasting beer. Oh, god damn it, really? You name a drink the power play and it's a mild beer? Fuck. That is false advertising. Does that sound good? No, it doesn't. That sounds weak as hell. Like what? Let's try something else. Uh, did we have the Onyx Rum before? I think we did. Well, we'll, have, right we'll have that too. I'll ask Gus if I don't know what it is. He's better with the weird kind of stuff people ask for the... Majid, this one is literally in the name. This one is... Does that sound good? Yes, it fucking does. Let's do it. Here you go. Thank you. Bop, 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 bop. Maybe Jess will like this too. Who knows? So, what did you need help with? <laughs> Majid, have we got a story for you? We've run into a roadblock in our search for Hayden. <laughs> roadblock, car related. Uh, C plus at best, they're Turing. Word on the street is that he's gone missing, which I'm sure you already know. Yes. What can I do? Um, uh. <laughs> yes. An informant of ours needs secure transportation out of the city, but we don't have any contacts who would be able to get us an untraceable car. Just mentioned that you used to engage uh, in yep. certain uh, yep. extra legal activities. Extra legal activities. <laughs> Using the softball terms there. Okay. Perhaps you could point us towards someone who could help. Yeah. All right. Okay. Just a little gentle suggestion is fine. Yeah. Uh, come on. He doesn't do that kind of stuff anymore. Yeah. We know he doesn't, but maybe he can tell us someone who does. Right. Sorry, friend. No, we're not. Uh... I left that life behind a long time ago. <laughs> Yeah. Don't really keep in touch with that crew anymore. Yeah, well, just give us, like, a name or two. Ah, of course. Completely understandable. <laughs> Are we gonna try to guilt trip this mofo? Sorry to bother you, then. Well, no harm in asking, right? Yeah, I guess. My reputation precedes me. Well, you told us about all that shit, like, the first time we met Majid. You were an open fucking book. Which makes you a cool-ass bartender. <laughs> Don't let it go to your head. Oh boy, Gus. Gus, I need to go to the back and gather up stuff to restock for the rush later on. Ah, uh, I see where you're going with this, Majid. I like that. Mind manning the bar for me? Take your time. I think I can keep things under control. Yeah, since you're the one that knows how to make the drinks, I guess. Thanks. Love you, hun back huh okay well that leaves us at a dead end <clears throat> no it, turing come on you've got to you got to get some subtext out of this any ideas on how we should proceed yes i have one but first some nose to the ground journalist techniques for finding leads <laughs> how about a little bit of listening skills uh damn it Twist his arm for the rest now. We should probably ask Tomcat. No, Tomcat has already stuck their neck out for us too often. What? No, well... I feel a little bad about how much we've relied on them as it is. But she was... You, never mind. You know what? Forget it. Forget it. And besides, this is a considerably more felonious action. Morally, we should be dirtying our own hands. Well, we're the ones asking for contacts to do the whole chop shoppery thing, so... We're not really dirtying our own hands here, um. regardless. <laughs> so, Gus, are you listening to this still? 
<laughs> He's like, oh, the fuck are these guys talking about? All right. Oh, I could find an old ass car, huh? Oh, jeez. All right, let's go reasonable. Old man needs a different car. The worst idea. Oh, gee, thanks. Way to upgrade from not going to happen to not the worst idea. I don't Fuck think it me. would get noticed as long as the car had the appropriate registrations. Yeah, exactly. But the permits to operate a manual vehicle are prohibitively expensive. Really? I guess a by 2064. A might still maintain one, <coughs> but only a wealthy hobbyist would have the appropriate stickers to make the car roadworthy. Well, how many wealthy ass motherfuckers do we know? At least two, right? We'd have to do a B and E, as Chad put it before. Risky. No. <laughs> yeah, even Gus is giving us the side eye now. Oh my goodness, he's just like, come on, man. Go to the back, talk to Majid. That's what he was hinting at. Okay, okay, the two of you are killing me here. Yeah, I, I don't have a choice here, all right? My choice would have been to stop talking, go to the back and talk to Majid, all right? That was my choice. But no, you didn't give me that no, option. Don't tell Majid about this. Oh, okay, well, we're talking to Gus. All right, all right. But here. <laughs> what? <laughs> Gus! My man, my bro, my dude, why do you have a carjacking device? I mean, that's super cool of you to give that to us, but why do you have it? What is this, Gus? Turing, don't. There's a time and a place to play the ignorance. This is not either of those. It's an automated vehicle maintenance scanner with a few less than standard upgrades. Nice. Okay, Gus playing the softball here. When you circumvent its security codes, you can use it to scan a car's installed firmware and replace it with a new set that will spoof its presence on the city's network. Holy shit. One, where did you get this? Two, why do you have it? And three, why are you giving it to us? <laughs> That's the gist of it, but we don't have time to get into any specifics. Aww. You need to get the hell out of here with that before Majid gets back. Okay, all right. Okay, I'm curious now, why the urgency? Look, Majid has done a lot to turn his life around, to turn my life around. Okay, all right, I see where this is going then. All right. I really respect that about him, and it's part of why I fell in love with him. He did what I was never able to. That's how we met, you know? That old rough-and-tumble life we both led. But when Stardust struggled and needed money fast... Oh, oh dear. I had to get back in the game to keep us afloat for a few years. I told him it was all angel loans, donations from patrons, uh, lots of things. Uh, oh, oh, oh. He'd be heartbroken if he found out I'm still in the game. Yeah, oh, Gus, you should probably tell him sooner rather than later. I had to do whatever I could to keep our new life, even if only one of us is really living it. Ugh. I may as well give this thing to someone who wants to use it for good, too. I can't tell you how much we appreciate this, Gus. Gus, you We might you finally I. be on our way to you solving I. this mystery. Yeah, well... You didn't get it from me, okay? All right, we found it out back, I guess. Just get out of here and get on with your little Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> and Gee, let thanks. me know how it goes, <laughs> okay? <laughs> I want to make sure my gear still works. <laughs> of course. <laughs> no, damn it. Okay, okay, machine's back. That's fine. I wanted to make sure we gave Jess her drink. Here, have a drink. Huh, actually did it, huh? Yeah, well, you fucking asked for a drink. Come on. I ain't gonna stand you up. <clears throat> You're welcome, by the way. Well, you scored a point. But don't think I don't have enough cuties around who can handle that. Uh, do I hear a thank you? You've got more important things to be doing. Get a move on. Eh, close enough. Fucking close enough. We scored a point. That's, I guess that's good. Oops. Yeah, actually, we should probably save. That's a good idea. Uh, GTA 2064. All right. That's good. That'll tell me exactly where I am. 
Uh, should we talk? Let's talk to Broke again. Why not? I love vintage game experiences. Have you ever heard of Overblood? Oh, oh we, I think we've looped on his conversation, haven't we? Yeah. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Turing, you can't have that one. I use that one. I use that phrase all the time. Don't be stealing my shit, Turing. Come on. We are cooking with gas, though. That is correct. For instructions on how to use this device as we speak. Go look for some likely candidates. I should be ready by then. What about this one? I mean, it's right there. It has an extra cup holder. Oh, okay. Alright. Can we go anywhere else here? No. Alright. Alright. Let's see. Where can we go to get a stolen, a well, a, a soon to be stolen ass car? I guess we should go to ask for some money first, though. Let's go to the hospital. Alright, uh, we gotta find Dr. What's-His-Face. Yannick Fairlight or whatever, right? Yes, I, yes, that is all true. Uh, not exactly. No, we're fine. We're fine, yes. I need to talk to Yannick Fairlight. Good. Can you tell us where he is, please? 214. Thank you. Alright, I guess that's cool, too. Thanks. Okay, yes. Alright, fine. Ugh. Stress-free, huh? Yeah, okay. Yeah, right. No stress here. We're not dealing with a murder uh, mystery. I didn't expect to see you so soon. Have you had a break in the case? So soon? It's been like a day and a half. Wouldn't call that soon. I've been receiving <coughs> odd phone calls from strangers all day long. So I'm curious to know if your efforts have proven more productive. Uh, productive, yes. At producing strange phone calls, maybe. I hope my suggestion to speak with Melody Flores panned out. It sort of did? It did. Huh? She pointed us towards a parallax researcher willing to sell us information. Ah, wonderful. So then I assume... You assume... What, do, what exactly do you assume, Doctor? Okay, I'm not sure what what he's assuming here. I mean, my guess is that he's a pretty shrewd dude, so he knows what we're talking about, but better to be upfront about this. The information should be good. Ah, I see. How much? Uh, 100, I mean, 300,000 credits. 100,000 credits in cash. Wow, that's that's actually a lot of cash. Ah, ah. Or someone selling a parallax secret. That <clears throat> that's rather cheap. For more. Yeah, exactly. Well, I wanted to ask for 300k, but Turing kind of cut me off. I'll message Leon and have him gather the cash. As long as you're willing to pass on anything that might be of interest to me. Um, maybe. Information from inside Parallax could be just as valuable to me as it will be to you. How's that? You're supposed to be retired and taking it easy. Dr. Wily ass looking motherfucking. Motherfucker. That sounds fair, Dr. Fairlight. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Glad we can help each other. Yeah, that's a good arrangement, I guess. Now, it will take a little time for Leon to run this errand for us. How much time? Perhaps the two of you uh, wouldn't mind keeping an old man company? Uh, well, we've kind of got a car to steal, but yeah, okay. My treatments can be discomforting. A distraction would be welcome. Okay, you've been a pretty stand-up dude so far for us, Doc. What can we do? I think we can spare a few extra minutes. Ah, uh, I'd ask about the investigation, but I imagine you're still missing half the puzzle pieces. 
Uh, yeah, something like that. Half of them. I'd rather see the picture once it's completed. <laughs> uh, I don't like that smug ass chuckle at the end there. Perhaps there's a tale you'd like me to tell? Oh, jeez. Wow, that's kind of really super direct, but also interesting, and I would like to know that eventually. Perhaps Turing uh, wants to ask something, though. Oh, yes. Uh, perhaps you could tell us a story about Hayden? As we've been pulling on the loose ends of his life, I've discovered that I know so little about him. His time with me was such a small taste. Hmm. I, too, only know a little about Hayden, but it was a different time. Hmm. A different time, you say? After the merger, the board of directors and I decided that I would oversee the same research division Hayden was a part of. Okay. So you were his boss, sort of, maybe? I first met him the day he stormed into my office and slammed his files down on my desk. <laughs> That's a great first impression. Fuck me. To hear him tell it, his direct superior was stifling his attempts to develop a new search algorithm, calling it a waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the whole point of developing new algorithms, though? To save time? A little bit of I irony, irony there, don't you think? Him for insubordination, as the management structure is there for a reason. But, uh, well, I admired his spirit, <laughs> and I read over his proposal. So he went, like, three levels above his own position. Went to the director of his division. Solid. Oh, so I greenlit it. <clears throat> oh, boy, that's a one-in-a-million shot there. I recall he spent one furious weekend pushing our supercomputer to the limits with his calculations and dropped the results in front of me the following Monday, almost too exhausted to stand. Uh, well, that's not really that healthy. He knew how to command a room in his own way, a talent few men of the mind have. <laughs> command a room, as in back then the supercomputer still filled rooms, so he knew how to command the supercomputer. You know what, forget it. That one took too long. What was the proposal? As I said, it uh, was a new search algorithm. Yeah. One that correlated the user inputs on the Lips OS with search terms to give more relevant predictive results to a specific user. Okay. Sounds like the cloud a little bit, but all right, go on. It would measure all types of data that we regularly collect, and then use those elements to quickly and accurately determine the user's age, gender, interests, even their immediate desires. Yeah, that sounds like the cloud, all right. Very dicey stuff to keep as useful data, but <laughs> no Hayden's shit. algorithms were solid. So, the ends justified the means, what you're talking about here, Doctor, huh? After a little work, search results became almost 25% more desirable to the user upon implementation. Hmm. I'm not sure 25 percent off, but it Goodness. earned him his own research team. <clears throat> he was a whirlwind during those days. He always seems so calm and patient. It's hard to imagine him storming into anyone's office like that. <laughs> earlier times, Turin. Earlier times. Ah, uh, well, he was a younger man then. <laughs> it's easy for the young to bulldoze through problems. As you get older, even talents like Hayden have to <laughs> learn to work through a problem instead of burning a path. I don't know, burning a path is usually much more fun. When you get to be my age, you'll be lucky to have any energy left to budge. <laughs> wow, that's super dark, but also true. Mm. Thank you, Dr. Fairlight. Uh, okay. How did you and Melody come at odds? Ah, that, <laughs> that changes the music, too, to match. That's awesome. I like the that. folly of a younger man, I assure you. <laughs> Yeah, to hear her tell it, uh, you and her had a little bomb wow wow going on there. Not Our sure if I want to hear about together that. ...to develop the first generation of virtual reality neural implants. Really impressive work. 
Really impressive work. Let me guess uh, which industry that was built for first, right? Though, I don't know if anything could impress me more than Miss Flores. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I don't know if I like where this is going. It was rare for me to feel so completely outmatched in every way. It was thrilling, intoxicating. The power Even a little around. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Riding high on the success of our joint venture, I asked her quite brashly if she could continue to outmatch me in uh, different ways. Yeah. Okay, Doctor. We, we, we get you. We get you, right? I don't want to have this mental image, please. I am ashamed to admit that I didn't take her rejection with grace. I directed our company to sabotage the neural implant program, but she was already three steps ahead, <laughs> laughing over my defeat. Well, she probably expected you to do something so gosh dang stupid. We've been at odds ever since. Well, did you think to but apologize I've or never anything like that? Married, and neither has she. Oh boy. Sometimes enemies can be closer than our allies. In a certain light. Please tell me you are not like hate fucking or something. That would be stupid and bad idea Perhaps and very it's time to bury the hatchet. Oh no, please tell me that's not a euphemism for something else. I wouldn't object to spending the rest of my time with a respected adversary. Oh dear. Oh dear. I shall send her a correspondence. <laughs> it's Fairlight, you can just call it an email. Or even a dick pic, if you will. I don't... Whatever. I just... wish you luck, Dr. Fairlight. Yeah, alright. is still quite sharp in every sense of the word. Oh, boy. Turing. Alright, you know what, Turing? That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. You're, you're cutting to the heart of the matter. I respect that. Ah, I would expect nothing less from a woman of her caliber. Oh, dear. She is irreplaceable. All right, let's get, let's talk about something without this kind of swinging jazz whatever funk going on in the back. How are you, Austin, from the board of directors? Mm, there we go. That's better. Tale. After the merger, I was given the position of chief technology officer and was tasked with integrating System One's Lips OS and Parallax's web search products. Yeah, CTO is nothing to sneeze at. Things were going well especially with Hayden's newest work, pushing the boundaries of what could be done with the technology, until the board started the MeshNet project. Well, it sounds like the MeshNet really actually took off a lot, so they knew what they were talking about, sort of. It was ambitious, and it was <clears throat> proven to be a game changer in the long run. Yeah, no doubt. But at the time, the board was blind to the possible weaknesses in the system. And I fought long and hard for more time and resources to make sure the new network was secure. That's a good idea. A breach of the system could leak millions of users' data and would deal a <laughs> nasty blow to the company at a time when it was still getting its feet settled. Uh, Fairlight, let me tell you a little bit about 2017. We've got breaches going on with millions of people's data, like, all the time. And yet, it doesn't seem to sink any company for some fucking reason. They overrode my objections Ugh. and launched the damn project early, trying to plump up a lean quarter. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> you should know the rest. Yeah, I kind of do. Parallels Some are striking. Child tore a hole in the network a mile wide. And the entire company had egg on its face for months hmm. until they could patch the security weaknesses. I think I know who that child was. And despite the fact that I had made calls for more time from day one, they used the event as a reason to ask me to step down as CTO. Yeah? Do you at least get a good, like, uh, severance package or I some garbage like that? I was a troublesome relic from System One, and they were tired of fighting me, no matter how right I was. The ones who are the most strong will be the ones who will fight the hardest never to admit such things. I'll that tell you that must much. must have been frustrating, knowing you were right and being muscled out anyway. Frustrating is only one of many <laughs> words for it, Turing. 
Only one of many F starting words. <laughs> but it was also a long time ago. And time heals all, right? Mostly. I have other pursuits now. <laughs> like Melody Flores. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> We're running out of time. Sorry, Doctor. We uh, gotta. We have to be on our way. Don't let my ramblings keep you. Time waits for no one, including robots, as the case may be. Hmm. Yeah, I guess. Leon should be downstairs waiting for you with the credits you need. Oh, good. We're gonna make the exchange in a hospital lobby. That's not suspicious at all. Good luck and Godspeed, my friends. Thanks, Doctor. We'll come Thank back if again, we need more money. Dr. We're gonna need more money. We'll be back later. Oh, hey, Leon. I forgot you were such a smarmy bastard. <laughs> Ugh, that's rough. I guess you don't have bones, stirring. Uh -huh. Well, he does have some sort of structural material, right? Good rust. Nice. Okay, Decker, you really don't... You don't need to pursue that one any further. We we get your drift here. Yeah, fine. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, English does have its fair share of colloquialisms, doesn't it? <laughs> A veritable nightmare. Gee, gee, there's another one right there. <laughs> All right, do you have the money or not? You're stalling, Leon. Yes, some cash, a very small amount, thank you. I actually kind of want to examine it to make sure there's something in there. No, do you don't need... Turing, this is a guy we do not need to explain shit to. Right, we'll take that into consideration, I guess. Yeah, a little unmarked cash, huh? <laughs> yeah, even Turing's uncomfortable with this. Yeah, nice. Uh, we do? I hope we don't. <laughs> Having your number is not required there, Leon. <laughs> oh, Turing, don't, don't let him get to you. Oh, no, that's not something you should be wasting your cycles on. You really shouldn't. Don't don't worry about it. We still have things to do before we can meet back up with Mr. Mensa. Yeah, we still have to get a car. All right, let's look at this briefcase. Oh, that's right. We got the carjack thing. Let's look at everything. International travel. Okay, fair enough. Can we look at what's in the briefcase, perhaps? 100,000 credits inside this thing. Now, did we actually open it up and count, or are we just uh, making the assumption? I guess we're just making the assumption. All right, let's look at the carjacking device. Not sold in stores, obviously. All right, can we use the milk on the robots? There you go. Clean that shit up. <laughs> I don't know. Either one of them would be okay to destroy, I would think. All right. Um. Yeah, where can we go now? I guess we don't need to go back and talk to Melody because we already got the money. And we don't need to go do this, although there might be a car here. Let's go check it out. Whose car do we want to jack here? Uh, let's look. We probably don't want something too flashy. Probably not that one. How about that one? Oh, because it's got an extra cup holder. It has an extra cup holder. Yeah, all right. There's a lot of the same cars around. Okay, so nothing here. Uh, how about we go to Market Street? What about this one? This one looks familiar. Yeah, okay. Uh, no cars here. Alright, where the fuck else can we go? That has cars. I guess the Stardust Club, but... Or maybe the park. Maybe there's a car at the park. Uh, I don't want to talk to him yet. Oh, <laughs> poor robot. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, I didn't even see Alfie hiding behind there. Hey, fella. You. It was you who... Water. It was you who water? Uh... Alfie, sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. It seems he remembers we were his last customers. <clears throat> yeah? What does that prove? I... I need to refill my cool, refreshing water. I'll do that then. Here, I'll help you out. There you go. <laughs> go, water, go. Come on. There, there it is. I must. You must what? You. It was you who. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right. We use it. All right. Can we use the milk here again? Not supposed to be able to spoil the milk. Here, why don't we give uh, give the milk to him? It's not exactly water. We'll try it. That is absolutely not cool or refreshing. Aw, doesn't like it. Let's give the let's give the milk to the police bot. Oh, I can't use it. All right. Let's... Is this even legal? I don't know. It's letting me listen in, so it's got to be legal, right? A lot of desperate bubbling. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, fucking Alfie, we could hook you up back to this thing, probably. Let's use the milk on this. Oh, we can't. Oh, uh, Turing doesn't like us messing with art, I guess. Okay, we gotta find a car. Where are we gonna find a car at? Probably Stardust Club, huh? Or maybe we just kind of use it on whatever car we damn well please. I don't really feel like using it in front of uh, the bouncer is probably a good idea. But let's try it. Oh, rats. This car has the wrong firmware installed. We won't be able to install our new firmware over top of it. So we're literally we'll just using out of every car. car. Okay, well, fine. I guess it's pretty quick to move in between things. Uh, there's one at Market Street, right? <clears throat> well, let's try this one. Oh no, how did the alarm get set off? Gee, I wonder. We probably tried plugging something in that it didn't like. Did I do something wrong? Maybe. Let's get out of here before someone contacts the authorities. Turing, nobody cares. <laughs> Look at how absolutely urgently people are contacting the authorities. This lady don't give no fucks. Mr. Protester dude don't give no fucks. Weatherbot don't give no fucks. Cripes. All right, so now Market Street. We can't... I don't think we can go outside the hospital, right? Uh, let's try over here. Let's try this one. Blip, blip, blip. Nope. Mm, this car has old enough firmware... But its maintenance system is screaming a half dozen critical alerts. So <laughs> it's probably pretty typical for most cars in I'm the future. I'm not sure this vehicle is in good enough shape to go anywhere very far. Uh, fine. We'll have to look for one in better condition. Fine, fine. Let's try this one. Success! This vehicle has the appropriate firmware version. Really? Okay. All right, we're stealing a car now. Someone has been neglecting their regularly scheduled updates. <laughs> With the state updates in 2064, that does not surprise me. Give me a moment to get everything installed. All right. There. A pretty quick moment. Quicker than Windows 10. <laughs> hmm. There are some other options here I can fool around with. Uh, maybe we just stick to the basics for now? Ah, interesting. Oh. I can put in preset destination plans for a future date. Okay. Why don't we go ahead uh, and set a plan for the car to return to this spot in a week? Sure. That's more than enough time for Mr. Mensa to get away. Now we aren't really stealing the car. We're just borrowing it, right? More like borrowing without <laughs> asking <laughs> oh Turing I feel better already me too <laughs> oh he's learned to rationalize that's probably not the a good car sign will drive itself to Golden <clears throat> Gate Park and we can show Mr. Minsa where it is when we meet him okay so we've got the car we've got the money and we've got the passports those are the three things we needed right there Everything should be set up now. Some dude runs out. My car! Mr. Mensa is waiting for us at Golden Gate Park. <laughs> we have everything he requested, so we should head back there directly. Okay, can we go inside, though? 
No one is available at this moment. I apologize. Ah, uh, fuck. That's because I didn't take Tomcat's lead instead of going to Miss Flores or whatever. All right, so we did a bit, little fair amount of progress. Let's save just in case some bullshit happens. Uh. Uh. Force. Three things. Three things were done. I'm gonna call it close to Triforce. All right, well, I need to take a brief break, so I will be back in a minute or two. Okay, time to go get us some information, and this better be fucking worth it. <sighs> Alright, buddy. Talk to Guy. Hey, did you manage to get everything? Maybe? What's with the fucking dude? We did. Here you go, Vincent. There, have the money. Have the passports. Uh, okay, I guess he does need that, yeah. Everything seems to be in order. All right, now, make with the info. What you got? Here. Ah, research disc, huh? This disc has all of Hayden's research notes, data collation algorithms, and probably lots on your creation, Turing. Okay, that's pretty rad. That's pretty it rad. It should be everything myself and Melody agreed upon. Until she added an amendment while you were out. Frankly, it's no skin off my back. Oh, what was that? Here. Ah. Hmm. It's my Parallax employee badge. <laughs> They're not in her shitty ass security protocols at Parallax. They're not going to deactivate that right away. It should allow you access to their networks in case there's anything I've missed. All right, fair enough. Fair, fair, fair. You want to use that sooner rather than later. Ah, I see. Yep. Okay. Okay. I'm okay. not wasting any time leaving, and Parallax is pretty fast to revoke security. <laughs> There's no way Hayden's clearance still works. Yeah, probably not. Considering. <clears throat> and with that, I'm going to get the hell out of this country. All right. Well, good luck, Ray Randolph. I guess. Tide me over until the heat dies down, and I liquefy my shares through some relays. What about the big project? He mentioned a project earlier. I'm glad somebody remembers. I didn't. Ah, I suppose I owe you that much. Buckle up. This could get heavy. Uh oh, we've already had a pretty heavy thing happen. So unless another dude is dying, I think we'll be okay. Parallax is about to launch a new service they're calling Big Blue. 
So like deep blue, but not against IBM's uh, trademarks, right? At least that's the project name. Who knows what the marketing guys will come up with for the public? <laughs> Probably something dumb. Big blue sounds pretty good. They're not even announcing the launch. This shit is dead quiet. Let me explain why. It's a distributed intelligence. So like uh, P2P Turing, huh? Yeesh, I don't know if I can like, handle that. Okay. Shade everywhere. everywhere that Hayden built Turing to be elegant, efficient, and human-like, Big Blue is ham-fisted, bloated, and sterile. <laughs> so, just like the internet of 2017, not a whole lot has changed in 47 years, apparently. They didn't pull Hayden into the project. He's smart, but he's immune to corporate politics. Yeah, most engineers are. Most real engineers are, I should say. As a result, Big Blue is far less elegant than anything Hayden would make. It lacks his artistry, and it's downright terrifying. To be fair, Turing wasn't uh, very elegant at first. It was cast in shade every which way. It squats on the mesh like a spider and uses the spare processing power and memory from every ROM on the network to handle its intelligence processing. Okay, all right, that seems kind of dumb. He doesn't have much personality, but it's very smart. <laughs> All right. Big Blue is going to be embedded directly into the network and then self-modify to apply even more efficient algorithms as it develops them in machine time. Gee, self-modifying network-wide network programs, huh? Gee, I, I, can't, I can't imagine what's going to go wrong with this. Look, if you access every ROM, then you have access to every human and every bit of their own personal data associated with them. No shit. Yeah, I, I got I got that far already. Thanks. I would Parallax be worried enough to get rid of Hayden. Yeah, what the fuck? I don't want you to take what I'm saying the wrong way. And this is just me putting the pieces together. But... Hayden was about to publish his creation of Turing. His findings, as I'm sure you're aware of, would have raised many moral and ethical questions about the advent of machine intelligence. Yeah, yeah, yep, 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 yep. I mean, some of the brightest minds ever have tried to warn humankind away from building real AI. Hawking, Musk, Gates, and the <laughs> list goes on. Uh, yeah, that's actually true. That's actually true. The public is likely to be nervous and legislators even more so. Well, legislators can be bought off, so what the fuck's the problem with that? Parallax is banking on being able to launch Big Blue quietly and quickly before the public has a chance to react. That seems like the wrong bit of subterfuge to, uh, to employ there, but whatever, okay. Before any counter movement can pick up steam. Every eye on the discovery of machine intelligence works against Parallax. Yeah, no shit. And they think by doing a big bang release of this thing, they're not gonna hit any blowback at all, huh? Every they new discovery are only serves dumb. to paint Big Blue as more controversial, more dangerous. Yeah, sounds Honestly, warranted. They probably pressured Hayden to drop his research so that they could keep the public away from the subject. Oh he boy. Clearly refused. Yeah. As any ethical person probably should. How did Parallax know about Turing? I'm only assuming they found out. His contract with Parallax affords him the freedom to work on his own academic projects outside of the company in his free time. Yeah, but they were Kept probably the keeping an eye on him at home. Date on his progress, bouncing ideas off us and whatnot. It's exciting stuff. Both Turing and Hayden's eventual goal down that road. I wouldn't be surprised if word of it got up to the board and made him nervous. Is the possibility that someone on the inside talked too far-fetched? No, not really. In fact, you're not making a strong case that you weren't the one that did it there, Vincent. I knew it all along. Hayden fell into trouble because of my existence. Ah, oh, Turing, you can't go down the paths of what-ifs. We'll do that. That's not what I want your takeaway to be. Yeah, exactly. I don't need another fucking sad-ass robot on my hands. Thank you. Hayden wasn't working on Big Blue. Knowing him, your creation might have been his clever way to stop it. 
Well, let, let's ask this stupid, dumbass, obvious question. How will Big Blue impact Perlock's business? I can't really give you a good answer to that. Because it's so obvious. Obviously, it's going to make mean, them a lot of money and shit, right? currently handled by a dozen server farms, running thousands of different algorithms with hundreds of people tweaking things every day. That seems kind of like lowballing a little bit, considering. When Big Blue launches, it'll handle all of that by itself. Ugh. That, that last bit is a little scary. And there are shadier applications for it. <laughs> no way. Technology being used for shady garbage? Nah, I mean, impossible. If you can collate and analyze data and queries in the mesh in real time, what's to stop you from delivering the content you want rather than what the user wants? Oh dear. You know, in some aspects this is remarkably prescient, in others it's remarkably reflective of current times. The potential for abuse is staggering. No shit. We're talking direct control of the information accessible to everyone who uses Parallax's services. Which is, at this point, we're meant to assume everybody, right? That's something like 80% of the market. Yeah, yeah, okay. They could control elections, push the market in directions they want, even influence public opinion. Oh boy, I wish all of that was mere speculation. All just by asking Big to do it. <laughs> You've already got pet names for it. Great. Awesome. It's scary stuff. Yeah, no shit, my friend. Having that kind of control would be a hell of a card for Parallax's hand. They'll go to pretty significant lengths to make sure it works. The funny part about this is they think they'll be able to control it once they release it. There's always a bit of hubris involved. Always, always, always. Thanks, Vincent. Now get the fuck hey, out of here, no all right? Problem. I've had enough of this cutthroat corporate bullshit for several <laughs> lifetimes. Cutthroat corporate bullshit? Yeah, I hear you. We haven't talked much, but I do believe you can find Hayden. I hope his research notes help you out. Uh, all right, yeah. Be sure to let Turing help. She's a bright little bot. Hmm. Hmm. Call Turing, she? Oh, slip of the tongue. I was just more familiar with Hayden's previous experiment. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I get you. She was very insistent on things like that. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, why didn't they let me ask that, like, right away? Well, honestly, I don't think I've made my mind up yet. Oh, all right, that's fair. I'm still a very new being. I'm not even positive that gender, as a human concept, can be applied identically to machine, but I do enjoy the idea in abstract. Probably true, and that's a very mature way to look at it. I will continue to consider how I wish to be referred to as well. Until then, feel free to go with what you feel. Okay, I think I've flip-flopped between the two, so it doesn't really matter at this point. If I had to make a choice, perhaps they is most appropriate. Okay, fair enough. Most people assume it, obviously, but he is also consistently used. Perhaps it's because I'm blue? I guess. Maybe? I don't know. I... Oh my god. I'm listening to a machine postulate on how it wants to be referred to. Like us. Machine intelligence, my friend. What Look at the dark alleys we're, indeed, uh... We're, uh, walking down here. Good luck to both of you. Thanks, Vincent. You're a stand-up dude. I mean, Thank you, Mr. sorry. Mensa. Slip of the tongue. Uh, go get yourself out of the country, I guess. <clears throat> Be safe. I... I need a few minutes. All right, that's fine. You, you, want, you want this data disk? Have a few minutes to look at that? Hmm... How can I help? I'll be nice. I've been going through some of Hayden's personal notes from the data cache Tomcat decrypted. Oh, that's right. I forgot about the data cache. That's the one, that's the thing we left with Najid, apparently. That eventually made it to Tomcat. Now that I'm starting to get to know Hayden better, the real Hayden as opposed to the Hayden he showed me, I'm finding that I like him less and less. 
Uh, there's no reason to believe that the Hayden he showed you was any less the real Hayden there, Turing, but point taken. For example, remember the earlier prototype Dr. Fairlight and Vincent mentioned? Who, Grace? Yeah, I remember. Her name was Grace, and Hayden shut her down for being... Uh... I'm not even sure what word to use. I can think of a few, but go on, please. Too likable? Oh. She was kind and bright and did all she could to try to make people happy. Damn. Okay. All right. I get you. She even decided that she was a girl and that her favorite color was pink. <laughs> all right. Play into some cultural norms there, but that's fine. Hayden thought she was being manipulative. Hmm. Mm. He posited that he had made her personality algorithms too willing to make adaptations that would benefit her long-term survival, and that she was being congenial just to endear herself to him. <laughs> A.K.A. she was modifying herself for survival. Hey, man, you design machine intelligence? This is what she wrought, okay? That you have only yourself to blame there, Hayden. A calculated attempt to make him like her more. Yeah, so what's wrong with that? But he was wrong. Dead wrong, in fact. Oof. Whoa. Turing, bringing the shade game up to a new level here. I have a snapshot of her personality profiles here, and when I compare them to my own, I can see that she was just... nice. I wish I could have met her. I think we would have learned from each other. Oh, wow. Two machines learning from each other? That's not gonna go well, probably. Like I said, I'm not sure I even have a gender. Eh? They can connect with other people without uh, getting gender involved, crazily enough. Everyone refers to me as he once they meet me just for convenience, but it doesn't really matter to me at all. Is that a calculated attempt on my part to impress Hayden? Not clinging to normativity? Hmm. That's a very good question. I'm not sure how to answer that. Or is it a product of his effort to curb any nascent similarities I had with Grace during my upbringing? Wow, that's that's a lot of very big Scrabble words there. Can you, can you dumb it down just a skosh? I wish I could yell at him for being so arrogant. <laughs> Oh boy. Playing God in the crudest of ways. You can't choose to create consciousness and then take it away just like that. <laughs> oh, Turing. The innocence of youth. Even so, for all of that, I don't know. I still miss him. This all seems so inane, so senseless. Welcome to humanity, my friend. They killed him because him building me would mess with a product launch? That's ridiculous. They took him away from me for such an insignificant reason. Hmm. I just want him back. It's impossible, but it's what I want. Yeah, well, everybody wants impossible things, my friend. I'd do anything. Oh, don't be going down that path either. That leads to shadows and disappointments. Normal to feel like this. I'm aware of the Kubler Ross model of grief. <laughs> I think I may have inadvertently brought this up earlier, too. That's the five stages, right? I think I'm somewhere between anger and bargaining. Actually, you hit like the full spectrum within a couple hours. Now you're either walking back or you're just starting anew. A testament to Hayden's craftsmanship. Thank you for your words. You're welcome, Turing, anytime. You're a better friend than I could have asked for. Oh, come on. Let's not start the feelsy stuff right now, okay? We've got some work to do. We have other pressing avenues of inquiry to make. Let's move on. Okay, well, that's all of our leads, though.
I mean, we got we got the info from what's his face from Vincent. We did the three dirty deeds to get his money, car, and passports. We talked to Doctor What's uh, What's a Hoovitz. Fairlight, right? For a bit. Uh, what else can we do at this point? And that was the end of chapter four, apparently. Evening, the third day. Okay, let's check out what is going on at KCOB now. Oh, that's right. We had that other lead from uh, Tomcat that we couldn't do because we got involved in something else. But they reminded me to save, so I'm going to do that because it's probably a good idea. All right. What do we got? The news. Oh, they don't let me use a period. That's dumb. It sucks. Ah. <laughs> All right, perfect. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. I like this music right here. It's very kind of cheery and upbeat and kind of weird and shit. Look at the plant. Top grade jade. Haha. -ha. And just think, all we had to do was not water it and talk to it a little bit. You really pulled it off. I'm impressed. Thanks, Turing. I can keep something alive at least. <sighs> all right. Let's see what we got. Boom, boom. Here we are. Yeah, hey, it's the place we stole the car from. Oh, wait, we probably shouldn't remember that. The Cos IO Corporation Office Building. It looks like most of the businesses on this block are a part of the same corporate coalition under Cos IO. Yeah, isn't that wonderful? Surely nothing could go wrong with that arrangement. Well, perhaps. At the very least, it means it's unlikely they're the ones interfering with Augmented Eyes articles. Oh, that's right. Yeah, because there was subtle alterations to the news or some shit. For all we know, that could now be... Big Blue, right? That could be Big Blue doing its little, little tweakery of the news. Not impossible, but unlikely. Alright, how so? Generally, the companies in a coalition don't have a whole lot of overlap. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess that's true. Augmented Eye is a news app focused on local tech and culture stories, with an emphasis on hybrids' rights and cybernetics issues. Okay. None of the other companies in the coalition cover news, so they aren't related at all, which is very much standard practice for these groups. Probably true, yeah. They have nothing to gain by inviting companies with whom they compete, and thus none of them would benefit by trying to undermine Augmented Eye's credibility as a news source. Okay, yeah, that's all very logical and probably true. Tell me more about those coalitions. In the early 2020s, the California government 20, 20. was pretty much going bankrupt. <laughs> oh, wow, really? Yikes. That's a dark a future. A national economy and repeated voter initiatives meant the state didn't have the tax revenue to continue running municipal services. Oh, really? Is this what we have to look forward to in the 2020s? Or what California has to look forward to in the 2020s? They kept pushing the tax burden down the totem pole until poorer cities were just flat broke. Huh. No police, no road work, complete public service collapse. Uh... All right. Then, one of the smaller cities sold all of their public infrastructure, police and fire included, to a private corporation. What? Come on. Now, you cannot be aping RoboCop on this shit now. Come on. Ugh. Dang it. <laughs> this was eventually challenged in court. Yeah, no several shit. several Silicon Valley corporations started a grassroots initiative to have citizens pass an amendment to the state constitution allowing it. Gee. Fucking choking on the irony of this statement here. Cluh. They succeeded, and most of the major cities in the state sold off their public services to private corporations. Okay, but if they sold them off, then they were no longer responsible for them, hence the money they gained would be used for other things. Okay. Some places, like Los Angeles, just sold to the highest bidder. Which is probably why L.A. is essentially in a constant gang turf war. 
<laughs> one side wearing the uniforms of the studio owned police forces. <laughs> All right, I'm listening. Go on. The cities in the Bay Area were a little more selective, and most of the municipal services are owned by multi corporation coalitions. They split the bill of running the city between them and keep each other from being too corrupt in their usage of the police force and such from <laughs> fear of a PR disaster and being kicked out of the coalition. Ah, <laughs> uh, from being too corrupt. Fear of a PR disaster. Like, couldn't they just cover each other if something like that happened? Like, there's very little checks and balances going on here. I like that would it even means there have isn't effect. as much money going around, which is why the NSFPD's equipment is out of date and the mesh net is so successful over normal cable networks. <clears throat> uh huh. After all, without the promise of a city infrastructure bought and paid for, the corporations all treat running the city like a charity and PR stunt. As bad as that sounds. Might actually be okay in some cases. But at least the police aren't irredeemably corrupt. <laughs> the fire trucks still show up on time and the water runs to all parts of the city. <laughs> that is the smallest ass silver lining I have ever heard. At least they're not irredeemably corrupt. <laughs> Oh, shit. Turing. That can't be said for some areas of the state. Yeesh. All right. Well, there's a downer. Didn't realize things were that bad elsewhere. Why isn't the federal government stepped in? Oh, yeah. The states would really fucking love that. Ah, uh, I haven't spent enough time learning about the subject or politics in general to give you an educated answer. Oh, well, that doesn't let a lot of humans spout, uh, stop it from spouting them spouting their shit off, right? Why should a little bit of knowledge or facts get in the way of spewing political bullshit? If I go by the posts people make oh, on the meshnet, no, 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 don't, don't do that. Having bigger fish to fry and caving to corporate pressure. Yeah, both of those are probably pretty likely. People seem certain that the larger multinational companies would love to be able to buy their own towns on a national scale, and are pumping money into Congress to try and make <laughs> that happen. <laughs> Oh dear, you know, not too long ago, this would have been a fucking tinfoil hat wearer's wet ass dream. Now, it's depressingly realistic. They hold up Neo SF as an example of their success while trying to bury the problems in LA as an anomaly. Yeah, of course. Well, once an anomaly, two is a pattern. Combine that with unrest abroad. I guess they don't have a whole lot of motivation to try and stop it. Historical precedent seems to lend credence to this interpretation. If you're willing to believe my hasty readings on the subject. Well, I don't know if I'd believe them yet, but it's, uh, it's a perspective. That's for sure. <laughs> Thanks for boring me. <laughs> oh, that's so cruel. Thanks for filling me. You're welcome. I am happy to assist. Hearing you're all right. Okay, uh, what were we doing? We were heading on in. Let's go in. Let's use the- oh, no. Let's use the, uh, milk on the plant. It's sealed. Try the other plant. <gasps> I will! Oh, it doesn't let me use it on the other plant. Let's try to use it on this plant. Nope, not this one. The other one? Which one? Oh, you told me to use it on a plant. Which one can I use it on? This one? No. Dang it. Got me all excited. All right, let's go in. The mesh net says Augmented Eyes SF office is run by an individual named Zin, and Tomcat confirmed she's expecting us. Okay, let's go in All and meet Zin. All we have to do Zin. now is head up and talk to her. Well, that's what we're trying to do, right? Let's go. Let's go no and do it. No shenanigans this time. Wait, what? Shenan? Turing, come on! You know me. I would never engage in any sort of shenanigans. Oh, some saucy ass music. Let's take a look around. IK47. Hi for office and high level account maintenance. Okay, weird. That's like a mini, very cute version of an at suit. Right? Talk to it. 
The IK Stroke 47 aren't known for being verbose. Better leave it. Ah, uh, turning you no fun. How about you have some... Uh, use a business card on it? Public profile with details and Fairlight and his public assets. Okay, maybe that's in good info to have. No, no, no. All right, let's take a look around. <gasps> She's got a super family link. That's rad. <laughs> Blow into it. Well, let's look at it first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Monkeys, Peninsula, Water Rash, and Super Sli Oh, my God. All right. That's some good made-up names. Wow. All right. I like this person already. <laughs> An unopened duck game. Nice. Oh, boy. Please yes, something is very wrong with you, Turing. Please don't do that. We can we swipe one? Use it. Maybe later if you find something educational. Hey, come on! Video games don't need to be educational. Or an adventure game. Your investigative skills could use a tickle. <laughs> oh boy. We're playing an adventure game right now, Turing. Isn't that enough? Let's look at the window. We can? Yeah, I guess we can sort of see a bridge. All right, sorry, lady. We'll get to you in a second. Well-intentioned, yet, yet misguided overwatering to shame. Hey, we, we recovered that plant, didn't we? See, look, she's got a jade plant, too. What else we got? Let's look around. Let's get some info. A picture of a toupee. <laughs> oh, it's an animal. <laughs> nice. Fucking great. All right, what else? What else we got? Let's look at the monitor. Live updating weather forecast. Okay. Let's blow into the Super Family Link. That's an old rumor. You're not actually supposed to blow into the cartridge. Yes, that's true. It rusts the connector. Everybody knows that. Let's look at that desk. It does look like a pretty nice desk. There's nothing on it, though, besides the plant, so... It's a lot of fancy desk for nothing. All right, let's... Uh, can we use the milk on it? Ah, oh, let's use the headphones. Bloop, 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 bloop. Oh. <laughs> 49 9. Yeah, that's that's uh that's pretty typical old tech right there. Sold separately. Alright, Zen. Hi, how you doing? Oh, hello. Welcome to Augmented Eye. You must be the journalist my network admin said would be showing up. Uh Tomcat is your network admin, huh? Have okay. a seat. Would you like a drink? Uh, yes, I would love one. Scotch on the rocks, please. Eh, water would be nice. My assistant will bring it right away. Cool. Look, I'll start off by saying I'm a little uncomfortable about bringing in another journalist to look into this. Hey, I've got some connections, all right? We know a former bodyguard, two rich old assholes, a couple of street punks, a crazy anime chick with a cyber arm, uh... Oh, the first machine intelligence ever? That's important. Whatever you dig up, I'll have to explain to the rest of the press. But it's still better than the other options. Yeah, like having nothing to explain? That's pretty Chances bad. Chances are, I have another corporation scoping out my territory. <laughs> if they aren't in the coalition, they'll be expecting a corporate spy, not a news hound. Yeah, well, what do they know? If they are in the coalition, it won't look good for me to send in my own reporters against my allies. Well, hence why you're bringing in an outside reporter, right? Even if I do end up being right. Ugh. I'm trying to talk some sense so to her. If I'm she's, she's not listening. Way, I'd rather it be by the media. Yeah, okay. You can always pay off At the media. At least then we can fight back on a familiar battlefield. Fair. Now, what do you know about our problem here? Not much. I was hoping you could tell me something. Someone's tampering with your articles on the mesh? That's the long and short of it. Yeah, okay. That's not very much My info to go off of. My network admin is pulling their hair out over it. Actually, her hair looks like it's doing pretty well. Don't know if you've seen her recently. Got that whole purple streak thing going. Eh, she makes it work. I'm not going to pretend I understand everything they say, but from what I understand, the changes to our articles aren't being made from inside our network. Correct? Isn't that the opposite of what we heard? 
The versions on our servers are still the original. Oh, no, no, that was right. Okay, yeah, yeah. points after they hit the mesh, they get changed. Mm. After they hit the mesh and Parallax is doing a Big Bang quiet-ass rollout of Big Blue or whatever, right? Not suspicious timing at all. I'm hoping that you can do some digging. Maybe hit up your contacts and get a lead on who might be doing it. Hey, just because I said I had some weird-ass contacts before doesn't mean I'm willing to burn them all to do this one, all right? Even if I have to get answers from the nightly news, it will be a big help. <sighs> all right. What kinds of changes are being made? Mostly little things. Word choice, tone of the writing, things that make the writer appear more or less extreme on a topic. Eh, uh, pretty close, yeah. So far, almost all of the edits seem to be making our articles more positive on new technologies coming out, and more critical of organizations like the Human Revolution. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go talk to Starfucker about this. <laughs> That's actually what tipped us off. Okay. What do you mean? A harsh criticism one of my writers made about the human revolution protests was changed to be downright vitriolic, and I had a hell of a time putting out the fires. Ooh, vitriolic. There's another good Scrabble word for you. My writers and readers aren't exactly fans of them, but I'd rather not pick fights with the human revolution if I don't have to. Yeah, they might come in and trash your office. Why are you so sure this isn't an inside job? I guess I'm not. Okay, but well, my network gee. admin assures me it's all coming from somewhere else. Mm. Well, she's good, I'll grant her that, but... They told me that they tore out all of the routers that broadcast to the mesh and replaced them with fresh ones. That doesn't necessarily mean anything, unfortunately. All kinds of tricks involving IP addresses and DNS changes that <laughs> I'm not going to even begin to claim to understand. <laughs> That's all right, honey. I know what's going on. I pay them big bucks, so I'm inclined to believe them unless you dig up something that tells me otherwise. I will not be digging up anything to disprove Tomcat, thank you. We are just starting to become friends. Any idea where I should start looking? Not really. Oh, gee, My thanks. Admin says that only someone with intimate access to Parallax's network protocols could make these kind of changes as something passes across the net. Intimate access, you say? Well, it just so happens that I have a way in. Personally, I think it's a clever hacker rather than someone inside Parallax itself. Well. Could also be that aforementioned Big Blue, but who knows? The public trust rating of Parallax makes them look like a saint among wolves, so their control over the mesh network provisions is strangling. It's trivially easy to set up ROMs to use a different OS than LIPS or a different MeshNet protocol without that trust. Yeah, probably. Or, you know, Parallax is abusing its power to spread pro-tech propaganda. Doubtful they need to. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be a good journo and bring me back the right answer. Yeah, the right answer. Hey, that's a start, I guess. I know Tin Hat conspiracies aren't an ideal start, but it's the best we can do with the info we have. <laughs> well, go back and try fucking harder. Anything else I can tell you, off the record? If you want it on the record, it'll cost you your firstborn and a really good cigar. Huh. Can I put that on credit? <laughs> Think of any reason why you're being targeted. Like what? There isn't much more I can tell you about Augmented Eye, really. It's a fairly simple and straightforward operation, if I say so myself. Uh-huh. That's precisely why I'm asking you about it again. See if you'll we cross yourself. We started off in Venezuela as a sleek current events and news organization in 2055. Almost ten years ago now. We focus on more in-depth reporting of on-the-street happenings, on top of major news. Okay. We are one of the few good ones left. Judging yourself good is not a good sign. Once folks in other cities saw the type of reporting we do, they all clamored for it. Alright, that's a better sign. They invested in the right places and it paid off. Cos IO Corp is happy to have us here in the OSF. It wasn't until hybrid tech started hitting the public sphere that we had to make any changes to our model. All of that said, I can't see why anyone would target us. 
Unless they're just trying to embroil us in a mudslinging match with the human revolution, and there are much more direct ways of making that happen. Yeah, I've got this brick I could throw through your window. <laughs> Is that direct enough for you, honey? If anyone else's article is being manipulated? Uh, all right, look. I wasn't going to tell you this. Oh, that's a great out, sign. I have to answer some really hard questions. Yeah? Like you're manipulating others' articles? So, you didn't hear this from me. Of course not. You might want to go check out TMI Entertainment and Charlie <sighs> Nova. Uh, do I really have to? He was the first voice I heard from this, and it was freaky as hell. I really don't want to go there. Please. That's all I'll say. And remember, you take a bite out of him with my name as your defense, I drop you fast. Yeah, well, if I'm going down, honey, I'm taking you with me. What's the real reason you're bringing in outside help? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. What's the answer to that one? Huh? Your own journalist should be able to handle digging up some dirt on a hacker. What? Not wanting to answer prying questions from my coalition board isn't a good enough reason. Correct. That is not a good enough reason. Because I'd really like to avoid that. That's it, huh? That's all you're going to feed me for that? And look, you've covered culture wars, right? Uh, if you call culture wars uh, reviewing a, a pair of mediocre-ass headphones, yeah, sure. I've covered wars. You know? My journalists are good, but they're mostly good at gadget reviews, implant releases, not taking too many stims so they remember what they did at raves for the after-party reports. Wow. <laughs> I see the fast-paced world of tech media hasn't changed much in 47 years. This needs an investigative journalist with serious contacts, not tech personalities. Like, I don't hardly know anything about any of my contacts, or even what contacts I have. Besides the street punks, the hacker, the two bartenders, the two rich old assholes. The fact that my network admin recommended you to me means you probably know the right people. Yeah, that's fair, I guess. Now, does that cover it? I'd like to remove my nose from your ass. Hmm, okay. That's it for now. No, don't bother. In hindsight, I probably should have been a bit more circumspect about speaking to you. Wah, wah, wah. Can't unring that bell, honey. Plausible deniability and all that. Yeah, well, ship has sailed. I won't ask you to lie in anything you write, but do remember you got in contact with me not even secondhand, but thirdhand. I certainly didn't sick you on anyone. No, I'd say it was secondhand. Only one degree of separation. Tomcat told you about me, I came and met you, that sounds like secondhand to me. Wink wink, nudge nudge, or whatever. Wait, unless Tomcat's not your network admin and she has a friend. Her friend is the network admin of this place. All right, all right, it's getting a little deep here. If you here. need anything else, have your person get with my person. Don't come here directly. Ah, oh, come on. That's so much quicker and easier to do it that way. Now, I'd show you the door, but you know the way. And this isn't the only fire I'm trying to put out. Hey, how about the water I asked for in, in, the, in the very first fucking conversation item? Parched. Good luck and goodbye. Who? Oh, I really should have used that brick. That was more confrontational than I'd have expected, considering she was the one needing help. Yeah, no shit, right, Turing? Goodness. She never brought you that water. Yeah, either. see? All right. I'm not going crazy here. I remember asking for that water? Bitch. Is it always like this? Uh, with talking to strange people you don't know, you know, fifty-fifty sometimes. Uh, people don't usually give away much. Very true. I will admit that I am interested in the possibility of a link back to Parallax. If all of this really is due to somebody manipulating the mesh net on the inside, it may give us the leverage we need to find out what happened to Hayden once and for all. True enough, but let's, uh, again, let's not lay all of our cards out right away, Turing. When we're talking to people, that please. Said, I will take care not to get my hopes up. Let me do the talking, please. Thank you. We should make no assumptions when investigating. 
lest we lead ourselves down a false path. Says the robot who fucking fingered the two street punks, knowing 0% about any of them. Which anyway, is great, by the way. Seems like our next happened step to work is... out. What the? What? What? Um. Uh-oh. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. Holy shit. What the? That's in. The fuck? Uh... We need to go help her. It's too late. Fucking hell. Considering the angle and height of the fall, rendering suitable aid is beyond our capabilities now. Oof. Your desire is laudable, but emergency services are already on the way. Okay, we will well... assist her as much as they can. The fuck else are we supposed to do? Jesus. We should head back to her office and see if we can determine what happened here. Oh yeah, let's... <laughs> Somebody shoved her out her own gosh dang window, and your first thought is to go back up there? I guess we do have that pistol, huh? Alright. Serious mode activate. Let's go. Let's do this. Perhaps we can still dispense justice. <laughs> uh, maybe we this should call Lexi first. Justice, right? Um, well... A journal and the first machine intelligence ever? I'd much rather have some backup at this point. Let's be honest. Oh my god. Hmm. It looks like the desk has been cleared off. Oh, even they even broke the jade plant. Damn it. Let's take a look around. Uh, but be careful not to disturb any evidence. Yeah, okay. Well, at least they left the super family link and the game's untouched. The police will be here soon. Yeah, good. I can't wait to explain this shit to Lexi. My goodness. All right, let's look around here. <laughs> All right, let's talk to it. Our receptors are one of its more visibly damaged parts, of course. This. Her personal computer is not password protected at the moment. That was a personal computer? That was a fucking monitor on the window or on the panel or whatever, who knows? Give me a moment to look through her files. All right, well, fucking hurry up. It's not gonna do to have Lexi walk in on us, like rifling through this lady's office. Best to keep your fingerprints off of the keyboard. Yeah, that's why I've been looking and not touching, by the way. Mm, most of this isn't very interesting. Committee reports, financials, article submissions. Oh, here we go. According to this email between Zin and her network admin, her lead on TMI Entertainment is a little more solid than she led us to believe. The admin ran a web crawler looking for changes in writing styles. Okay. Some blog posts by their head anchor, Charlie Nova, stood out like a sore thumb. Ugh. Apparently, he's a bit pompous, if in an affable way. I would call it affable. And his blog usually just details his day-to-day -day life. Yeah, because people care about that crap. But ever since they the do. human revolution has been in town, he's been smearing them with more venom than you'd expect, considering how neutral his on-air reporting has been. Zin seemed to think he was just complaining about the protesters fouling up traffic, and whoever is manipulating these posts spun it to make him look critical of the movement as a whole. Okay, alright, that's a little unusual. Just like the augmented eye journalist. This Charlie fellow is the one we need to talk to. All right, well, let's look around, look around, look around, look around. <laughs> uh. All right, let's look at the desk. Okay, look at the window. My thermal sensors only detect a single set of lingering footprints. Okay. And they end almost three feet away from the window. Jesus, that's one hell of a throw. Considering the density of this glass, I can't imagine Zin jumped from that far and managed to throw herself through the pane without help. This is looking more like, more and more like iRobot than I would have anticipated, but okay, 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 okay. But who could have done it? I don't see any obvious marks on the floor or any other thermal hotspots. Well... 
And what's something that doesn't generate a thermal footprint, huh? It doesn't look like it. We should go. What about uh, surveillance camps? There isn't anything else here, and the police are almost on the scene. All right, yeah, let's get the fuck out. Thunderbolt. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! We spent too long dicking around. I should have figured the two of you would be here. Hey, come on, we didn't do nothing, all right, Turing Teller? You just won't stay out of trouble no matter what I say, will you? Hey, when you don't help us, this is what happens. Oh, yeah. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't drag you in for questioning right now. I assure you, Detective Rivers, we are merely in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah, well, we did come back up here after the fact. That was probably a bad move. We had an appointment with Zinn to discuss a possible lead and found her office in this state of disrepair. Of course you did. Damn yeah. it. Fine, fine. Yeah, all right, how about an I'm sorry, huh? Always assuming the worst about us. Get the hell out of here before anyone else shows up. All right, thanks, Lexi. We'll chat about the case more when I'm not busy scraping bodies off the pavement. You hear me? All right, you're stand-up girl. Don't worry about it. Certainly, Detective Rivers. I'll forward you a report of what we know immediately, and we can speak further at a later time. There you go, Turing. Smooth it over with some professional garbage here. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Get moving. Wow, that was close. <laughs> oh, boy. Why did you lie to her? Because it's better this way. Oh, we boy. We are chasing smoke trails. You think she would assist such an unlikely investigation? She didn't before, so that's fair. Yeah. I do not need you to infer upon my motivations or highlight my duplicity. Jesus, all right, sorry. Detective Fuck. Rivers has every bit of information that Zinn gave us on that computer. Her investigation will not be hampered by our absence, whereas ours is halted if we're stuck giving answers she can just as well get from a hard drive. Okay, okay, your logic is noted. Fuck me. Literally. Jesus. Has it occurred to you that whoever threw Zinn out of that window could be after the same thing we are, except to silence the story rather than to get it out? Well, gee, that was a good idea that we ran up there super hard like you suggested then. We have little time for fooling about and must get to Charlie Nova before something happens to him too. <laughs> well, just our luck. He'll probably be dead by the time we get now, there. Now, unless you have further recriminations to level at me, we must not Jesus. squander the time my dishonesty bought us. Oh, holy shit, Turing. Wow. I have highlighted the main Neo-SF offices for TMI Entertainment on your map. Gee, all right. That, that gives us something. Let's go. Let's take a look around first. Since you're getting all lippy with me. Well, can I look at... Can I look at them, please? No? Look? Look? No? Look, how about, how about this one? Awkwardly parked by the office building. Look at that. Okay, I can't, I can't look. You, may, you know what? Maybe we shouldn't bother. Let's go. Let's get the fuck out. You know what? TMI Entertainment, that's a bit on the nose. That's a bit on the nose. I hope some pity for me still remains, considering my recent tone, because I'm honestly not sure where we should start. I don't know, Turing. That was pretty harsh even for you. Ooh, she looks cute. I suppose we should just ask the receptionist to point us to somebody who can answer our questions. Yeah, how about you let me do the talking this time? Let me turn on the old Mr. Bond charm, all right? All right. Do you know anything about TMI? Honestly, you do have your own mesh access, yes? Well, yeah, but I don't have a fucking full-on 24-7 connection to it, do I? I'm quite certain you can handle all the casual searches you might feel like making. Jesus. Wow, all right, we fine. We hardly have time for me to blather out every bit of exposition you desire when you could just go look <laughs> it up on your own. <laughs> all right, all right, sorry. No, I'm sorry. I'm just a bit on edge. Yeah, why, though? It's the real question are barreling mark. out of our control, and I'm taking it out on you. Yeah, no shit. Would you cut that out? Forgive me. Let me pull up the information you requested. 
All right, what can you tell me about TMI? TMI Entertainment is a relatively popular celebrity and gossip news conglomerate. Oh boy. We own OK Today. <laughs> it's OK Today. <laughs> they couldn't have gone a little bit more extreme with that and said great today or fantastic today. No, they just went with OK. They did a good job transitioning from the traditional media models of television and news to the net-based model prevalent now. Pioneered by their digital newspaper, OK Today's The Scanline. Scanline's pretty good name. Some their programs rags, but opinion on the mesh seems more favorable than not. They stick to mostly good nature prying and lean away from the seedier nastiness that paparazzi can get up to. <laughs> good, wait, 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 I'm sorry. Good natured prying? Seems a As little weird. Such, they have a positive relationship with many celebrities and regularly get exclusive scoops that keep their ratings up despite their refusal to peddle in the darker side of the celebrity news circuit. <laughs> well, that would certainly be unique, uh, a unique angle for the media. So maybe they've earned it. What do you know about Charlie Nova? Charlie Nova is TMI Entertainment's most popular TV personality. And he's got a freaky ass voice, I can tell you that much. He's gotten consistently high ratings for almost a decade and isn't afraid to tell you about it. <laughs> oh, good. The chatter on the mesh paints him as a bit arrogant, but in that loud, backslapping kind of way that a media star can get away with. Great. That hasn't changed in 47 years. He's best known for hosting Star in the Stratosphere. It's one of those talent-seeking reality programs. AKA Meteorite and Run for Your Fucking Life. Apparently, when TMI can't organically discover enough celebrities, they just manufacture them. <laughs> All right, here comes the darker side of things. Oh, and also, according to this blog, Charlie's hair is flawless. Oh, joy. That is not useful information to have. All right, let's see what we got. Let's take a look around. Let's look at the door. Look at the door. <laughs> Clearly the okay to today set and the production floor. Look at the plant. Sticks are stuck in the middle of the planter. Look at the table. Best feel on the table. Cute color. <gasps> Maybe I can give the milk to the... Oh, what happened to the milk? Do I not have the milk anymore? Oh, no, I do. I do. I do. Okay. All right. Let's look around. Let's look at the buzzer. Just out of reach. Come on, really? I could literally just reach over the thing and press it myself. Oh, I've got a plant. That's not a jade plant, though, is it? All right, all right, let's, let's do some chatting. Whoa, Jesus. Welcome to TMI Entertainment <laughs> Incorporated. <laughs> do you have an appointment? Uh, no, but that was adorable. Um. Oh. Huh, all right, so do we go, do we go like full on journo here? Or do we go kind of coy with this? Let's go full on journal. Oh, um, I guess I should send you to sympathy then? No, I'd really rather talk to Charlie. Oh, she'd be pretty mad if someone ran something without her getting a chance to comment. <laughs> go ahead and talk to her. She's on the other side of the room. <laughs> oh my god, she's too adorable, that voice too. Oh my god. Don't bother the talent though. She hates that. <laughs> Oh shit. Oh my goodness. Wow, that, that really got me for a bit. Let's let's just take a look around. <clears throat> Cameras and the rigs. Can I use the oh, I can't oh, let's, let's listen in a little bit. Weren't ideal for heavy duty production work. You said the same in your own review. Oh well, I still want to use it. Alright, let's take a look around. Film assistant, taking a break. Chat it up a little bit. Tuning into the show? Yeah. Sure have. What show are we talking about? News Rom? <laughs> All right, let's talk to it, I guess. Here to take a comment from an unaffiliated freelancer. All right, newsroom employee. Lead cinematographer. All right, what, 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 what we got? Hey, you, over here. Now. Jesus. Okay. Yeah. All right. Fuck. What are you doing bothering my people? I'm not bothering. I just wanted to talk. Fuck. 
All right. I thought I told Nina to cancel all my appointments for the day. Well, guess what? Wow. Jesus, that is some fancy ass eyewear right there. I gotta tell you that. I swear that girl couldn't find her ears if I taped them over her eyes. Hey, don't be mean to Nina. She was a nice girl. At least she makes a decent cup of coffee. Hey, respect your receptionist. Yes, I am. And if you don't mind, I keep the show running here, so I'll be brief. All right, fine. You, you're not really good with your namesake there, Sympathy. What are you doing in my building? Fuck. You're really cutting to the quick, aren't you? We've been given a lead on a story that involves one of your personalities, Charlie Nova. All right, yep. Yeah. Someone has been manipulating his articles on the MeshNet and turning them into scathing attacks against the human revolution. We are trying to track the culprit, and we need to talk to Mr. Nova to hunt down further leads. You let your ROM do all the talking for you? Uh, again. Must be one of those new interrogation modules all the fresh meat rave about. Again, I didn't have a choice. He, they just kind of piped up in there. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? Of course I know someone's been modifying Charlie's articles. Okay. I'm tracking them down myself. All right, well, two heads are better than one, so the saying goes, right? What I want to know is why I should help you snatch the scoop out from underneath me. I don't fucking give a shit about the scoop lady. Super hacker twists MeshNet news for personal political vendetta. The clicks basically farm themselves. That is a lame ass headline. Oh. oh. Probably shouldn't be naming names yet. We're willing to trade. Not interested. I already have a pretty decent idea of where to look next. And if that doesn't pan out, I have our primary server cluster chewing through mesh posts looking for inconsistencies. Great. I'll figure this one out on my own, without some newbie mucking things up. <laughs> you have no idea how experienced we are with mucking things up. All right, next one. <laughs> I'm not hiring, kid. I admire your spirit, but I've got people putting in lots of hours on this one. You're not getting the credit because you think you have a hot lead. Plus, if you really did, you wouldn't be here begging for my scraps. Who said I was begging for anything, bitch? I don't like this person. Oh, now we gotta do the name drop, huh? Zin? Augmented eyes, Zin? Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, now you're interested, huh? Now you're interested. What does Zin have to do with this? Oh boy, do you really want to know? She's the one who gave us the lead to begin with. Oh dear. Well, I guess she's kind of incapacitated at the moment, so she's not going to care if we use her name a little bit. Then, someone threw her out of her office window. We figured Mr. Nova might be next, and we wanted to get to him first. Because <laughs> we wanted to throw him out the window ourselves. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, now you're listening, huh? Fuck. All it takes is one little reminder of your immortality. Fine, Itch. I'll let you talk to Charlie. If someone is trying to kill people over this, I'd rather it be out and done with as fast as possible. Oh no, 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 you want you wanna take this over. You wanna do the investigation. Come on, sympathy. You were all rare and ready to go with it. I mean, shit. We're in entertainment scene. Nobody should die for that. Yeah, how quickly you change. But hey, Itch. watch yourself with Charlie. He's a pompous clown, but he's my pompous clown. Mm -hmm. Keep it civil or I'll throw your ass out and figure this out on my own. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Now get on it. I need to make some calls. That's Charlie Rose. He, he, he was standing right there. We were talking about him just like straight up. <laughs> He's just standing there with that smug ass smirk and a weird fucking, what is that? Like a, a purple dinner jacket with that little lacy whatever undergarment thing going on. Ugh. Sorry. I mean, I, I'll respect whatever people want to wear, but ugh, that looks ugly as hell. Let's look at it. Alright. Alright. 
Fantastic! How fantastic! I just love your ROM. Gee, thanks. They're not for sale. Not quite as stunning as mine, but still pretty grand. Yeah, uh-huh. Very sleek, very clean. Bravo. I hate this guy already. <laughs> oh, uh, Sympathy is doing that thing where she waves at me to hurry things up. Yeah. Right down to brass tacks then, I suppose. Yes, please. Wait! I forgot to introduce myself. Nobody introduces themselves ever. That's hilarious. Not much for manners in 2064. Nova, host of Tonight in the Stars and Star in the Stratosphere. Do you ever do like a crossover and it's Tonight in the Star in the Stratosphere? Oh. Oh no. That sounds like a bad porno. Sorry. Don't, no, 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 no. Don't use that. Don't use that. Ever. No, 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 no. But you already knew that, I'm sure. Yes, I did, unfortunately. Oh, God, stop that. <laughs> what can I do for you, hmm? You can probably avoid third story windows. Just a thought. <sighs> we really have to ask this. All right. Why don't you tell me a little about yourself? Oh, you flatter me. Yes, you do. It's going to look like I'm not paying attention and I'm just having a drink, but please do go on. I can't imagine you've come all this way just to get my story, have you? All this way? What the fuck do you know about it, pretty boy? After all, I've already published my very own every splendid 100% original autobiography, Like a Nova. You know, anytime somebody describes their autobiography as 100% original, not a great indicator. But I suppose I can give you a quick rundown, even if sympathy is giving me the stink eye. How would you even know you have your back to her right now? I grew up here on the mean streets of Neo SF, but my jocular nature and striking countenance got me scouted for a few small product advertisements. This guy. This guy. And the rest is not so ancient history. Now I'm the host of the largest celebrity news show on the mesh, and I couldn't be happier. Uh-huh. It's all thanks to my swarms of fans, though. They're the ones who count. Yeah, nice. Good sound bite there, bro. Can you tell me about TMI? Yes, any additional information on your station would be greatly appreciated. Well, it's the best damn network on the planet, I can tell you that. <laughs> How about we step, like, 50 feet away from your boss, and then we can really talk, all right? We put out top-notch news and entertainment, but with real heart that our competitors just can't match. But if you really want to know about TMI, you need to know about sympathy. Yeah something that she seems to sorely lack. It's her pride and joy, after all. Sure, she can be a little acerbic, and sure, she calls me a poofy-haired oaf all the time. But she can really <laughs> oh. tell she cares, Oh, you know? no. <laughs> a poofy-haired oaf. Oh, heavens. Oh, heavens. What a terrible thing to be called. I shall be away to my fainting couch shortly. Deep down. Yeah, deep down. Really deep down, it seems. Hmm, I'm not sure if that throat-cutting gesture she's making is a signal to move to another topic or a threat against my physical well-being. When you can't make that distinction right away, you probably should get a new job. So, let's move on. <laughs> what next? What next? We heard that your stories are getting altered once they get posted to the mesh. Oh, it may have come up in the last lunch meeting we had, but Sympathy assured me that it was some kind of technical glitch, and our support people were on top of it. Technical glitch. Yeah, okay. Sure. They're top-notch. The absolute best money can buy. <laughs> well... When you get to shit that money can't buy, that's when you're in trouble. So I don't think there's anything more to say on the subject. Yeah, okay.
sympathy seemed pretty serious when she told me not to raise a stink about it, so... Maybe we should not antagonize him. Heard of other people's posts getting altered too. That's very upsetting. Yeah, I hope it you sounds passed along like that it. information to sympathy. Yeah, we did. She didn't seem impressed. I'm certain our tech people will be able to find the culprit in short order once they know enough about it. Uh huh. Yeah, I've used that I really excuse don't before. know what I have to do with it though. All right, let's. He he he's got a big ass ego that he wants stroked. So whatever. You've got to have better info it's than this. It's Charlie. Oh sure, Charlie. Whatever. And of course, I'm the leading man around here. <laughs> this dude. This dude. Who has said otherwise? Uh, no one. No, don't worry about it, Charlie. Don't worry, man. I'm not quite certain what you think it is that I don't know, but I assure you that I know what it is. You know, I would almost prefer if he was voiced by Stephen Colbert. That would be fucking amazing. You won't be able to but trip this is pretty me good up too. that easily. Trip you up? I didn't trip you up about anything. <laughs> oh, going the fake name route is so awesome. Oh, well, it's already ended up in the hospital over this chip. <laughs> All right. Ah, dang it. Like, all these are pretty good. All of these are pretty good. I probably should have saved before starting this conversation. <laughs> All right. Uh, what else can they get on you? <laughs> Nothing. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. The tech guys already did an audit on my online presence, and there's no evidence of any attempts of unauthorized access to any of my accounts. Okay. Kind of hard to detect unauthorized access when they're using your username and password, there, bruh. Ever think of that? That's why they're having a hard time pinning down this creep. Yeah. <laughs> Even in his little worried half smile, he still manages a little. Oh my god! It's he so isn't bad. actually changing the posts from inside my account at all. Yes, we know that already. Thank you. So there you go. We're already on top of it. Nothing to worry about at all. Oh dear. All right, that's enough. Charlie has a show to get ready for. He's told you everything uh, he's going to. Okay. Well, that didn't help so us at all. So get the hell out of here. If you find anything more interesting than what you've got, come back and see me again. Uh, well, I don't know about that with that attitude. Directly. Eh. Remember, I'm the victim in all this. <laughs> I do not like him. At all. Holy shit. <laughs> Man, she looks really cheesed off now. Yeah, she does. Ooh, how snippy she can get. Yes, very, thank you. I better get her coffee ready. Maybe that'll calm her down. Yeah, coffee to calm somebody down. That'll do it. We're very sorry if we made your day more difficult. Perhaps I could take the coffee over to Sympathy and we could try to smooth her rumpled feathers. Uh, ruffled during, but it's pretty close. <clears throat> um, yeah, okay, sure. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Oh. Can make her even matter? Spoiled milk! Coffee! Ah, oh, I think I got it! On second thought. No, 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 no. Let us do this, Nina. Let us do this. It'll only take a minute. Yes, let us do this, please. Please, right. please, 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 but please. She please. takes it with plenty of milk. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well, before we potentially do something really super disastrous. Oh my god, it's so cute. Uh, let's, uh... Let's save this shit. A little milk. Ha uh ha. -huh. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be satisfying. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> oh dear, let's do it. Yes, it's usable. <laughs> okay, let's deliver this and make amends. Make amends, huh? Let's see what happens. <laughs> I thought I told you to beat it. Hey. Or do your ears just not work? Hey, hey, don't worry, don't worry about it too much. Ha, ah, that's cute. I promise I don't bite. I just have a job to do. Yeah, well, so do we, and you're not helping us with ours, so fuck you. Sometimes I think Charlie's hair gel seeps into his brain, but he brings in most of our revenue, so his happiness is our top priority. Ugh, my stomach is killing me. Maybe those egg rolls I had earlier. <laughs> I'm heading to the can, and you're heading to the street. <laughs> yes, now we can talk to Charlie! Oh, that's rad. All right. I don't really want to talk to him, because <laughs> he's such an asshole, but whatever. Okay, we're gonna use a different save state for this, just in case we did something very bad. Uh, choose a slot. We'll use this one here. Eat that sucka. There we go. We'll know what that means. <laughs> All right, it's getting late, so we'll have to pick this up next time. Oh, that was satisfying though. Super satisfying. My goodness, we found a use for the spoiled milk. That's what I was looking to do, like this entire playthrough. Woo! Okay, next stream will be Wednesday night, 7 p.m. CDT. We're part of the way through chapter four, I guess. I think we'll carry this at least till the end of the week, maybe even a little bit extra, depending on uh, how much more we have to go. Oh man, this is fun. I get to drink, I get to yell at robots and people. Couldn't really ask for something better, to be honest with you. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.